for controlling the motion of the dummy on the path externally from MATLAB the following is required first you shall allow MATLAB to control VRAP scene by starting a server in VRAP which shall wait for a connection from MATLAB prior to starting the simulation then you shall create a signal which will be used to control the motion of the dummy on the path so those two points are shown in here so open the VRAP scene open this child script go to the end of the child script so here I am creating this signal that is gonna control the velocity of the dummy on the path so this signal I am gonna call it path velocity and when I initialize it it's empty then to start a server in VRAP for MATLAB to connect to you have to use this instruction send ext remote ABI start and then you have to give it a port number and then I'm gonna pause the simulation so after MATLAB afterwards MATLAB is gonna connect to the server then it is gonna start the simulation then it's gonna modify the velocity of the dummy on the path by writing to this signal then remember we still have another requirement we shall link the value of the signal to the velocity variable of the dummy on the path so open the simulation scene again and open this child script in here you can see that this child script have three f blocks so the code in the first f block happens during the initialization phase this is called when the simulation starts only once the second if block it's empty this is executed during the cleanup call the cleanup call happens only once when the simulation is terminated the third if block is executed each iteration of the simulation and in this block we are going to control the velocity of the dummy on the path according to the value of the signal path velocity so in the initialization call we have to declare a variable and we have to put in it the handle of the path so using this handle we can control the velocity of the dummy on the path so in the simulation calls we are gonna get the value of the signal you do this by using the instruction send get string signal then you have to pass the name of the signal so we check the value the value of the signal if it is no then the program does nothing so if it is empty then the program also does nothing otherwise if it is not empty then it has a value this value is written through MATLAB and we are it's written through MATLAB and MATLAB writes it as a string so in here this value 
of the signal is converted to a number and this number is updated to the path. This is done by calling the function simset path target nominal velocity then the first argument is going to be the path handle the second argument is going to be the value of the velocity which is retrieved from the signal that is written through MATLAB.